The first case of meningitis was reported on the 12th of April 2013, with an outbreak being declared on the 30th of April when the number of cases rose to eight. Since then, the numbers have grown to 90 reported cases, with there being four casualties. The Minister of Health identified the virus as meningitis type A, and along with the World Health Organization launched a campaign to tackle the outbreak. The cases range from ages 5 to 22, and the outbreak is centered in the town of Malakal in Upper Nile State of South Sudan, with a few reported cases in the surrounding areas. The Minister of Health talked about the Ministry's plan when dealing with the cases that surface in the surrounding areas. It is actually within Malakal. We had a suspected case, two cases reported from uh, Asosa, from Akoka uh, County. Uh, uh, then we sent a team yesterday, uh, a joint team with the WHO and uh, Minister of Health uh, and other NGOs who were interested. So we sent drugs out there. Also, we have drugs. Uh, the good thing is that the uh, most of these affected cases have been discharged. They respond very quickly to the drugs we have. We have septraxone. Medical officer with the World Health Organization, WHO, Tasfaye Zode, spoke on WHO's role in fighting the outbreak and treating the infected. Currently, uh, we believe we have enough drugs to treat, and all patients are responding, and all the drugs are brought by WHO. And WHO, at the same time, is facilitating to transport the vaccines. Probably by today or tomorrow, we will receive them here. So uh, we have advised uh, MSF that we start the training of teams and uh, team supervisors. So immediately we go to the action. Friday, 17th of May, the meningitis vaccines were flown to Malakal and vaccination started immediately with health workers, school children, and prisoners in an effort to combat the outbreak.